Another gorgeous day in Vancouver. Anjan Rai with you on Close Look and another exclusive interview coming straight at you. He's a writer, producer, and uh, rapper, artist. Blitz is with us. Hello. And you forgot to say Bachelor of the Year. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I'm well, joking, this joking. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Vancouver? What's going on? It's your boy Blitz, straight from Toronto. Yeah. Beautiful day in Surrey. I do not miss the weather in Toronto right now. So. Yeah. Can I ask you what the weather is in Toronto right now? Um, I think it's like minus 20. Okay. So, and it's like plus four or five here. Okay. So, yeah, it's. I'm loving it. The guys behind the cameras are so cold, but like, I'm loving it out here. I'm loving it. I know. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Plus, we match. Yeah. You know. We kind of coordinated before you came, right? Yeah, we yeah. the close look colors on, so Great that's that's going for us. Great minds think alike, right? Um, can we can we start off and ask you about your music career? When did it all first start? How old were you, and uh, when was the first you know few couple of times you picked up a mic? Um, I I just kind of got into music like when I was a kid. Um, the only way my teacher would get me to behave in class was if she let like she'd tell me I could rap at the end of the class if I behaved myself. Okay. So I'd behave myself all day long. Then at the end of the day, I'd go up there and I'd do a little yo-yo rap and stuff like that and because yeah. of her I passed grade six science thank you very much <laughs> you know so you know and, and that's and just from there it's just like it, it was a passion and then I, I made a demo tape at the end of high school and Punjabi MC heard it and he played it in the UK and from there it's just like the rest is history started getting calls for bookings and um, uh, got signed to Universal Music in India licensed stuff to Universal Music in UK and you know just just been touring the world ever since yeah. And, and this show is all about inspiring the youth and you know finding passion and so you were in grade six and um, you know you you already had the passion of getting in front of a crowd and right. entertaining them right. so you know how how did you know that you wanted to get into rapping and not be a teacher yourself like you know where, where did you know what path you wanted to take um, that first time I got that publishing check from Universal Music I was like you know what I'm gonna rap forever a career in there. yeah and it was in British pounds so as soon as I converted to Canadian it was like double or triple so nice. that's what kind of when I knew you know what you can make a pretty good living doing this and yeah. and I think I mean all jokes aside besides the money and stuff it's the fact that you get to travel the world and see places like this I wouldn't regularly see and meet new people and, yeah. and that's what it's really about yeah, that's, that's excellent so if you had to explain to people what your style is and um, what blitz represents in music what what would you tell the people um, I always try to tell people I'm not a Daisy rapper I'm just a rapper that happens to be Daisy you know I mean, my style is just straight hip hop. I love hip hop, and because I was Punjabi, you know, it it opened up new doors for me in India and the UK and stuff like that. So that's really my style. It's more straight hip hop, but trying to feed that towards a South Asian market. Yeah. Uh, you write your own rhymes? Yes, I do. What, what inspires you to pick up a pen and write? Um, just everyday life, you know, whatever it might be. You might wake up in the morning and um, see something crazy on the news, like what's going on in Egypt right now. Or you might uh, meet a beautiful young lady out there. Yeah, pretty girls walking by always inspires yeah. rappers. That's all, yeah, that's always <laughs> inspiration, you know, or, um, you know, something your friends did. I, it, music has to be based on reality. Art is a reflection of life. So, you know, it has to be something that I've gone through or something one of my friends have gone through. And, and that's usually what inspires me. Uh, growing up, who would you say some some other artists or athletes out there that have inspired you to be the the great role model that you are today? Mithun Chakravarti. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, I think I'm just I'm really inspired by uh, businessmen like Richard Branson. You know, people who who really have taken music but then expanded on it. You know, he's he's got Virgin Airlines. He's got Virgin you know uh, trains cola mobile phones and it's more lifestyle marketing and that's what i try to focus on i'm a marketing student so i love i love lifestyle marketing and stuff okay, like that so if we were to look you know five years into the future ten years into the future what what could blitz do with music oh, really i'm just using my music as a guinea pig because in the future what i want to do is open a marketing and pr company which takes brands not only artists but starting with artists from canada and america and breaking them into markets like uk and, and india and stuff like that yeah. Okay, so let's talk about some of the music that you have out there right now. Two big singles that are bumping South Asian radio stations. One is Juma Kiss. Yes, that is correct. Okay. <laughs> and, and who's on the track and what is the feel of the Juma Kiss track? Well, I think the Juma feel is very self-explanatory. It's all about 
chumas, you know? Yeah. So anybody out there who likes a chumma, go buy as a single. Like, how could you hate on that? If you like to kiss, invest 99 cents on and, and download it from iTunes. But um, yeah, basically got two. RDB. Yeah, it got, got RDB on it, you know, and they've been doing so many great things in Bollywood right now. And I was blessed to have them on a track. Shot the video. Woo! Hey, man, I think you did it this time. <laughs> They thought it wouldn't happen. RDB and Blitzkrieg. Let's do what we came to do. Let's make them dance. Let's go. videos are out so people can check them out on your website or on YouTube you can go to youtube.com slash get blitz or getblitz.com and the videos have had I think in three months each of them has over 160,000 unique hits nice. and it's just it's, it's phenomenal like I'm so humbled it's, you know it's, it's, it's so crazy I want to um, I want to congratulate you because Thanks you were <laughs> nominated for a couple of UK AMAs last year yeah. and uh, it's I think you know recognition getting recognized by fellow colleagues or getting recognized by the government as being a good role model in the city is is always you know a great great thing to let you know that you're on the right path doing the right thing and uh, recently the government gave you a $20,000 grant to go ahead and shoot your own music video oh, crazy and this is all I have left <laughs> this is all I had $20,000 I got like 40 bucks left okay. this place yeah <laughs> drinks are expensive over here it's crazy but <laughs> it's a really good story so yeah. so tell us how the government has uh, recognized blitz um, yeah, basically I'm the first urban Punjabi music artist coming from Canada to be granted the Much Fact Award and that was $20,000. They saw what I was doing for the community and representing Canada worldwide and I did a track with Chocolair and Socrates which are huge, you know, Chocolair was the first urban Canadian artist signed to a major label. Yeah. He approached me, he, he was like, yo, we should do a track and I was like, we should definitely do a track. Yeah. I had the perfect mix with Rafaq Ali Khan and Mentor, yeah. put him and Socrates on it and the government gave us $20,000 to shoot the video and it's coming out soon and I promise you, you have never seen you know, an urban Desi video like this. What, what does a $20,000 music video look like? Are you guys like riding around on horses on a tropical island? I don't know. It looks, um, <laughs> funny enough, it was shot right here on this exact camera with this mic. That's exactly what $20,000 <laughs> looks like. That's what a $20,000 video looks like. <laughs> Go close look. <laughs> exactly, it looks, close look is big budget, I'm telling you, it's, I'm telling you. No, um, it was crazy, like, I mean, we shut down the streets in Toronto, we were riding through the streets. Um, we had Chuck Claire in an old school uh, Camaro, I had a new one, so we're racing through the streets. Um, you know, we had some nice young ladies accompany us. Yeah. Uh, those be after the shoot, by the way. I That's know. what happened to the $20,000. <laughs> it's, it's like good, good fun time shooting this video and it, it yeah. sounds like the memories are worth than the 20000 Yeah, no, you know what, but all jokes aside, I think it was just so phenomenal for us to do this for Punjabi people and Indian people, you know. Um, yeah. My brother Roach Killer was the first Pakistani artist to get a much fat grant yeah. um, last year or two years ago, so I'm happy to be the first East Indian guy to do that. And so we're really opening doors for everyone else we really didn't have anyone growing up getting these grants and touring internationally to look up to and so we're trying to be that for the next generation and I know the, the teasers for the music video are out on uh, your website and your YouTube channel, but when does the actual music video in its entirety come out? It should be coming out in a month, depending on when this is airing. So it should be coming out about in mid-March. Okay. So yeah, definitely look out for that. That'll be on Much Music, on Omni, on every station, you know? And it, it definitely this show as well, yeah. So. Uh, and on a final note, Blitz, if, uh, you know, like you said, you guys are, are a couple of artists that are doing things that no one else has been doing before. You guys had other artists to look up to, so now there's younger artists looking up to you guys. And if you had any words of encouragement to these little guys that want to be uh, mini blitzes, what would you have to say? All I gotta say is, um, not that I'm anyone to give advice or look up to, but I would just say, you know, nothing happens overnight. Like, I literally had to get on a plane with a thousand CDs in my backpack, go to England, not know anybody, and stand on the corner freestyling. That's what it took for me to actually get my break and make it. So, you know, if whatever market you wanna make it in, whether it's Canada, America, UK, India, get up off your butt, go there, and put in the grind. You know, I think these days, social media is important, but a lot of people get mixed up in, you know, being big on the internet, and that doesn't always translate over to physical and tangible you know success so you know get up off your butt do the grind nothing happens overnight I've been doing this 10 years yeah. you know and 
one day you could be here with $20 in your pocket in Surrey on a rooftop just like me. <laughs> right. Okay, well you started off with, um, with a mic standing on a corner, so if I was to stand off the side and pass you the mark after 10 years, wow. are you still able to spit rhymes on a rooftop corner? Sure, always, always. I like this mic, it's very, um, okay. Sure. <laughs> Serenade us! Serenade you? Okay, I call this the B flow. Okay, now every word in my rhyme starts with a B, so count how many B's I say. In the bricks I beg a body for talking some bullish. Blitzkrieg the type of brother that's not like a bull whip. Basically I break it down in a bomb like Bin Laden. Bronx on Bombay just catch your boy bragging. Biologically I'm known to breed with beautiful babes. On the beach in Brazil where they let Barretta's blaze. Back bundles in the bank the Babylon of baboons. Blitz about to bang like a burst of balloon. I can't back down my background's ballistic. Burning backlash get blasted by the biscuit. Britannical basho battle on blackboards. In a Benz or a Beetle with a broken back door. Blitzkrieg. How many bees was that? Uh, 56. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.